Hello, and welcome to part two of my orc tale of fluff and the internal wog from the 6th edition codex. We will now be dealing with the Gorala Swarm. In their search, a handful of Leviathan's scout ships happened across the world of Gorala, a planet rich in biomass and base to Scarfang, the pirate war boss of the dreaded Scar fleet. This mighty, if ramshackle, armada fell upon the bioships before they could react. The Tyranid fleet was all but destroyed under Scarfang's guns. However, amidst the carnage, a single bioship broke through the orc blockade, pouncing on the planet as a starving man might snatch at a scrap of bread. Alien blood and viscera spilt into the vacuum of space, but in its death throes, the bioship delivered several broods of Tyranids to the world's surface. Scarfang grew glum as he realized the battle was over, and he was resolved to join the fight on Octaria, as the few Tyranids that had made Planetfall were soon stomped out. The swarm survives. For the first time since the Tyranids had invaded the Octarius sector, they found themselves embroiled in a war where they were vastly outnumbered by their prey. Scarfang's horde was mighty, and somehow the Tyranids sensed that a war of attrition would only end in their demise. In response, the Gorala swarm adapted in order to survive. At first, the Tyranids stalked and preyed upon isolated orc patrols. But the Greenskins soon took to scouring the landscapes in mobs too large for the fledgling swarm to face. Forced to abandon their guerrilla war, the Tyranids adopted an altogether more cunning strategy and engaged the orcs in the open. The Tyranids attacked without thought of survival. Every action aimed at maximizing the carnage. Despite the Tyranids' frenzied attacks, the orcs' superior numbers gave them the advantage in these brutal skirmishes. Whenever the Tyranids were on the verge of being overrun, they would, in eerie unison, switch from hyperactive slaughter to hasty retreat. The Tyranids lurked in nearby caverns, or else burrowed beneath the surface to shelter from the pursuant search parties. In the dead of night, synapse creatures would remuster the scattered swarms to the corpse-choked battlefield. There, the Tyranids would feed on orc cadavers and Tyranid carcasses alike before returning to digestion pools secreted in the planet's rocky mesas. Slowly but surely, the Tyranid numbers started to grow. Scarfang's Fury As the Tyranid forces swelled, they changed their methodology yet again. Growing more aggressive and seeking out ever larger concentrations of orcs, Though the Tyranids' reward for their victories was ever-increasing masses of bio-reserves, the increased violence soon attracted the bored Scarfang to the surface to join the fray. Wherever Scarfang's guttural war cries were heard, the orcs attacked with renewed vigor. Even when the Tyranids looked to be on the cusp of victory, the war boss was able to turn the tide, bellowing blood-curdling threats that encouraged his boys to get stuck back in. The Tyranids were being pushed back by the resurgent orc front. Slowly, the swarm was being trampled to death, 
Despite the Tyranids' earlier success, there was little chance that they could face a united orc force of such magnitude and survive. While Scarfang lived, the Gorala swarm was doomed. Divide and consume. In response, the Tyranids created lictors with the express purpose of eliminating the Wark or war boss. Within days, the lictors had tracked their imminent quarry, but Scarfang's packs of squig hounds foiled all attempts to get close enough to assassinate their target. Although eternally patient, lying in wait for a chance to strike down their target was a luxury the starving swarm could ill afford. So instead, they created an opportunity. Following pheromone trails, a scuttling tide of hormigants was thrown at the orc lines. As the orcs roused to man their rusty barricades, tyranid warriors willed the scuttling masses to withdraw. Scarfang's frustration rose to infuriation as the Tyranids repeated these fints, approaching from different directions to within an arm's length, then withdrawing before the orcs could retaliate. On the tenth such retreat, Scarfang's temper could take no more. With a roar, the war boss ordered his mobs to pursue the retreating swarms. Soon, Black smoke was belching skywards as battle wagons and trucks rumbled after the swarm. The Tyranids had succeeded in goading the war boss, separating him from the bulk of his forces and luring him into an ambush. The Tyranids had spawned broods of venomthropes to blanket the greenskins in a thick, toxic fog. As the orcs pursued their quarry, they rode headlong into the sudden blinding mist. The entire convoy ground to a halt as vehicles skidded into rocky outcrops or else lost control and plowed into each other. Coughing and hacking, those orcs that hadn't choked on their own blood pulled themselves from the wreckage. Scarfang himself stumbled across the battlefield and happened across the tentacled beasts responsible for creating the noxious cloud. As he vented his anger on the venomous creatures, the fog receded and the inviscerated corpses of orcs surrounded the war boss. Lictors had stalked through the blinding cloud and dispatched the unwary greenskins one at a time, until only Scarfang remained. The lictors closed on their true quarry, surrounding the war boss in deathly silence. Revving his chain blade into life, Scarfang charged the nearest with a roar of defiance. He managed two steps before a dozen mantis-like claws pierced his form and tore him asunder. With Scarfang dead, it was not long before vying orc bosses started fighting amongst themselves to fill the power vacuum. The orcs were soon divided, and the desperate bands became easy prey for the united Tyranid swarm. Each was isolated and destroyed in quick succession, and within days, the orcs on Gorala had been slaughtered like cattle. The Tyranids gorged themselves on their flesh. From the digested remains of Gorala, the swarm created new bioships and set forth to rejoin the hive fleet at Octaria. The biomass it had consumed destined to fuel the next phase of planetary invasion. Though the war for Octaria rages still, one thing is already clear. Despite the machinations of Cryptman and the ferocity of the orcs, Leviathan showed no signs of stopping. The Tyranids 
are not only surviving the Octarian War, they are thriving on it. And that is the story of the Orcs versus Tyranids, at least as the Codex tells it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be adding more with all of the major races and even minor races later. Thank you, and keep watching.